Positive News is based here at the Impact Hub in Islington in London, which is a community space for entrepreneurs and charities who are working for social benefit. We have a small core team here, and then we have freelancers across the UK and around the world who contribute the content, so it's a, a really interesting um, mix. Positive News was founded 20 years ago by a woman called Shauna Crockett Burrows. Um, so her intention was really to, to create a publication that was more inspiring, that exposed the possibilities for humanity and, and helped us create that, that better world that she really felt was possible. My name is Elizabeth Schlomer. I work as the business manager at Positive News. We currently have 3,500 UK subscribers and another 500 internationally. We distribute 25,000 copies across the UK and internationally. Um, the membership levels are constantly climbing over the months and we also have quite a big readership on our website and on Facebook. The stories that the media put out there so strongly affect our understanding of ourselves and of the world. So if we're only hearing negative stories, I think it really limits the human potential. So if we're told stories that are inspiring of positive change, we see examples of the changes other people are making in their lives for the better, the, the good work that businesses and organisations are doing, um, it really changes our sense of what is possible. We are UK based, but our stories have an international focus, which draws in a lot of international readers. Um, we have readers in places like Alaska, the Philippines, the US, in Australia, all over the world. The impact of positive news on society as a whole is that it firstly exposes the potential solutions to the problems we face and it exposes how people uh, creating a, a better, stronger, fairer, more fulfilling society and ways of life. Um, I think it also directly affects people's well-being um, and really importantly it affects our sense of, of each other. So what makes a story positive for us is there's a lot of different factors but fundamentally we're looking for stories about things that are really serving people and the planet. It's really about looking for those opportunities for transformation and true progress and what underpins that is, is a focus on real universal human values. We're looking for instances of cooperation and compassion and creativity. And we'll look at individual stories, say entrepreneurs who are creating a lamp for developing countries that is powered only by gravity. We'll look at grassroots movements such as women in India who are rising up against domestic violence or the women's movements in Africa that has recently led to Rwanda electing a parliament with 64% of, of parliamentarians being women. My name's Nicola Lawson and I'm the editorial assistant for Positive News um, and I'm also a journalist. My internship was great. Um, my editor, Sean, he gave me a um, mentor and uh, I asked to interview Ruby Wax and as I was an intern I thought that he would just laugh in my face uh, but instead he told me to go for it and I was able to manage to get in contact with her and I interviewed her. As an intern that's absolutely incredible um, and I think that probably lots of other news organisations wouldn't trust an intern to do something like that. There's a widespread belief that bad news sells. And I agree, to a degree, bad news does sell. It's been the foundation of a lot of newspapers' approach for many years. Sell as many newspapers as possible and maximise profit by reporting the, the most titillating or fear-mongering, attention-grabbing stuff. But I think the idea that only bad news sells is a complete myth. So we want to work with journalism schools to create training in this kind of journalism to make sure there's rigorous, quality, positive journalism being done. Um, and we want to research further into the impact of positive and negative news upon people and really help the media as a whole to see that it's going to be beneficial for everyone if we have a much more balanced picture in the press. If you want to get involved in what we're doing, visit our website at positivenews.org.uk and check out our content. You can subscribe to the print edition of the paper and you can do that online or give us a call. You can find us on Twitter at Positive News UK and follow us on Facebook as well, positive.news.uk. Um, send us your stories of, of positive news and join the inspiring conversation. Mm -hmm.